Another one right here. So, for this week's Music Monday, I decided to talk about a band called Green Day. That's right, Green Day. And, which by the way, if you're new to my channel, every Monday I just do this thing where I talk about different bands that I've listened to on a regular basis or still listen to, you know. Ultimately, you know, bands that have helped to shape me as a music fan, but also as a musician. So, um, so at Green Day, I mean, Green Day was definitely like one of the first rock bands or alternative bands or uh, that I started listening to. Of course, I was introduced to them by an older cousin of mine. She had uh, their album titled uh, Dookie. That's right, Dookie. <laughs> and it, it quickly became one of my favorite albums. And I continued to listen to it like all throughout, I want to say, uh, middle school. So pretty much from the time I was maybe about like 12 till 13, 14, I listened to that album a lot. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I even remember there was uh, a handful of times when uh, I would spend like my weekends just listening to that album <laughs> and like reading through the lyrics and because I really liked that, you know. I, I mean, I guess in a way, I I, I kind of miss being able to go to the record store. And I know I've mentioned this in previous Music Mondays about. <laughs> about record stores, you know, when they used to be, like, the popular thing. and uh, But, I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd say, yeah, I definitely miss uh, being able to do that, go to a record store and hang out with other music fans. And then, of course, you know, when you get home, take your purchase home, and uh, whether it's a CD, whether it was a CD or a cassette tape or vinyl, I guess, but hey, they still sell vinyl. They, they start, vinyl is, is back. So, but I've never, I've never collected vinyl, so I don't have the space for that. So, um, but yeah, you know, like, eventually my cousin, she bought me my own copy of Green Day's Dookie. And so I liked being able to listen while reading along with, you know, looking at the lyrics and um, it was an experience for me because I mean, I remember, you know, back then, you know, music was a real experience for me. Uh, you know, no, I mean, now, you know, now, of course, you know, you got these streaming services, you know, and you could just download entire albums. Uh, for me, it doesn't feel the same, you know. I mean, you know, okay, it might it might make me seem like an old person, <laughs> an old fogey or whatever, but hey, you know, that's I'm being honest. I'm not gonna lie and say that you know that I th that I think that streaming music is the best thing in the world. I mean, for me, I I figure yeah, it is. It is pretty cool being able to stream music wherever, whenever you want, download entire albums to your phone or other device, you know, and just carry, carry them around with you in your pocket. That is cool. That's definitely cool and awesome. But uh, for me, it's it takes away from the experience that I used to have, you know, at least when I was a teenager, and being able to, you know, open the CD case or cassette tape case. Yes, I had a lot of cassette tapes. <laughs> you know, and pull out the booklet, look through the the artwork, the pictures, uh, read through the lyrics and, and other liner notes and stuff. And, you know, I don't know. I, I kind of feel like, you know, there needs to be some kind of return to that. So, yeah. 
But then again, I don't know. I mean, I've actually never downloaded uh, an entire album. Um, st- you know, still to this day, I mean, I still prefer to actually, if it's a band I really like, I still prefer to own the physical copy of the CD. So I don't know. I'm probably just old fashioned that way. <laughs> but anyways, getting back to Green Day. <laughs> uh, so yeah, for me, uh, Green Day was a band that got me interested in other similar music. Uh, I mean, after from there, you know, uh, by the time I was about 14 or 15, that's when I started listening to like punk music. Uh, even though I know, I guess Green Day, to me, I, I, they, at least at one point, they were, I consider them to be uh, slightly punk or punkish. <laughs> but I mean, I, I eventually ended up listening to other punk music and then Eventually, by the time I was about 15, 16, that's when I started listening to uh, heavy metal. You know, stuff like Metallica, uh, Iron Maiden, uh, Pantera. Is. So, Judas Priest, and so on and so forth. <laughs> um, but still to this day, you know, Green Day's Dookie, it's... it's that sounds kind of weird to say that. <laughs> But their their album Dookie, uh, still one of my favorite albums to this day. I pretty much like every single song on there. You know, Basket Case, uh, Long View, uh, When I Come Around. Uh, trying to think, what other one? Oh, Welcome to Paradise. <laughs> I remember the first time I heard that song, Welcome to Paradise. Uh, you know, it in, it instantly became one of my all time favorite songs. You know, I just I liked the the, the energy of it, the guitar riffs, and uh, you know that was another thing too. Like that stood out to me the most, like right away, was the guitar riffs. Uh, Billy Joe, yeah, Billy Joe, <laughs> uh, his guitar riffs. Definitely stood out to me a lot, and I also liked his uh, singing style too. I mean, uh, you know, it was just—I don't know. I guess just because for me, uh, you know, again, I said, you know, I first heard, I was first introduced to them when I was about twelve. Before that, you know, I, I had never heard anything like it. I mean, I was used to just listening to whatever my parents listened to on the radio in the car, and. I said, uh, I've never seen them in concerts, um, but I mean, I gotta admit, like, I don't really like their newer stuff. Like, I liked, I want to say, like, their first two or three, maybe even four albums. But then after that, I didn't like, I didn't like the direction they took. I mean, they became much more poppy, and um, yeah, I don't know. For me, I it just felt like. To me, it felt like they just stopped trying to be even remotely edgy or or harsh. Or, <laughs> that's what it seemed like to me, you know. Because as far as their album Dookie's concerned, like every song on there, again, you know, I like I like it pretty much every song in there. But not only that, I like the lyrical content. I like that for the most part, it seems to be very honest, very raw, and, and truthful. Uh, you know, it's not even, not really, it's not like sugarcoating anything. It's just, you know, uh, I mean, I, I like that. That's the kind of music that I like. I mean, I don't care if, to me, even though, yeah, I'm a metalhead, I like heavy metal, hard rock, a lot of that stuff. But for me, if I come across a band, you know, whose, whose songs are not only sound decent <laughs> but at the same time if the lyrical content like even if I don't like uh, the way a song is structured but if I end up like actually checking out their lyrics and their lyrics end up being honest and, and convey some kind of message you know or even if it's just you know something like you know uh, I mean I don't know I've come across 
a lot of stuff, even from different music genres that I don't like, like rap or hip hop or uh, different folksy kind of stuff. <laughs> but then when I read the lyrics, you know, and I and they come off as like truthful to me, uh, <clears throat> then I and then I end up actually appreciating the song a little more. So. Yeah, that's you know for me that's just a personal thing. Obviously, I know probably majority of people don't really pay much attention to lyrical content. I mean, you know that's why we have like all these inane pop songs being played on the radio like a hundred times a day, and <laughs> where you know they just repeat the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and it's. Yeah, yeah. That's, I don't know. Of course, I realize that you know I I probably do come off as an old fogey. And, <laughs> yeah, back in my day, Frankfurters cost a nickel. That's, that's, <laughs> that's a, no, I mean no. Honestly, that's that's Frankfurters never cost a nickel. <laughs> At least I don't think not when I was a kid, but. But anyways, you know, it's I don't know what else to say about Green Day, you know. Uh I've always liked the most of the guitar riffs. The drumming, the drums, drummer is awesome drummer. The bassist. The bassist too, that's another thing too. Yeah, I feel like the bass player I kinda of feel like he's slightly under slightly underrated as a bass player. <laughs> Because he's got a good tone, a good bass tone. You know, I like that. Uh, that's not easy to come across uh, uh, in, in any genre of music. So, yeah. So, <laughs> let me know what are some of your favorite Green Day songs, if you have any. Uh, I don't know what else to say about them. If you've yet to listen to well, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are familiar with Green Day. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and provide some links to some of their music videos, uh, some of my favorite songs, so you can check them out too. And maybe even like a live performance of theirs, you know. I'll see what I can find. In. <laughs> so that'll do it for this Music Monday. Uh, thanks to everybody who is currently subscribed. Uh, also, thanks to my new subscribers. Yeah. You'll find that on my channel. I don't. I don't just talk about. It's not just books. I mean, it's mostly book-related stuff, but I talk about a lot of other stuff too. So, yeah. <laughs> thanks again. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. As always, next time, don't forget keep it real, keep on rocking, and peace. <laughs>